Okay, so many have asked, and here is the what's next video. So you got the whole thing built. It's good to go, right? Uh, so what do you do now? Right, everything's plugged in, everything's working. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and switch it on. Okay, all goes well. Your LCD should power up, like so. I'm not sure if you can see that on camera. All right, and uh, you're good to go. So the first thing you wanna do from your LCD is uh, you wanna home all the axes and make sure that they are working. Okay, so uh, you know you really, you really want to pay close attention to this, um, and actually the Z axis you're going to want to have off the machine right now, and just kind of have it in your hand because you're going to want to click it manually. Um, but what you're going to do is you're going to scroll down to prepare, and then home all axes. All right, it's going to home your X and your Y, and then it's going to move down to your Z. And then as soon as that tip touches the bed, you want to tap your Z, uh, Z home access twice. Okay, mine's actually already set. Okay, mine and mine is in the back. Um, you can see it right there. Oops. So right here is uh, my Z access. Okay. So it's, it's pretty low, um, and actually what I had to do, and I'll put up a video, is I actually had to countersink one of the screws. Um, actually, I have my other Z-axis here. Where is it? Right here. Well, and this is one for my other printer, but I actually had to countersink. See how that one's sticking up? I had to countersink the other one. Or else, what happens is it actually hits the, um, it actually hits the aluminum bracket uh, right in here. Uh, so you couldn't get it down low enough. So um, I did have to countersink that a little bit. So you may have to do the same. Uh, but now, uh, so basically, you have stopped it right when the t the nozzle has touched the bed. Um, you can go ahead and mount your Z-axis right at that point to where it's clicking. So push it all the way up against the, uh, the, the back here. So it's touching this, this part here. And it's actually clicked on. And that'll be a good spot for your um, beginning of your Z. Okay? So we're going to go into the bed leveling process now. So what we have is... Uh, we want to grab a little piece of paper, just standard paper, okay? We want to slide this under the nozzle, and right now it doesn't fit. So I'm going to actually squeeze the bed, so I'm going to tighten that nut just till this paper barely can squeeze under there, and there's a little bit of resistance. Okay, so that's our perfect starting point. All right, and then what I want to do is I'm going to go to um, prepare and move access, axis, and I want to go move one millimeter, and I move Z, and I'm going to move it up one. Okay. I'm a, and I'm going to go back to uh, move 10 millimeters and I'm going to move the X and I'm going to move this guy all the way to the other end. And you can probably already see, if I get this out of the way, um, how much of a difference that is. So right now I have this huge gap in there. So what I want to do is go ahead and loosen up this screw until we're touching. Oops, tighten it up a little more. So we kind of want to have about the same distance as we had on the other corner.
a sec. Almost there. What may happen is um, you can't get this one lined up because you need to lower the, the Z a little bit more so you have a better, a lower starting point. So you have some space to actually raise this up if you need to. And you're basically going, basically going to do that at all four corners, moving it around, doing your testing. Um, and then once you get all those spots in a good spot, then you know your bed's level. And once your bed's level, uh, we can go on to the next step and possibly do some printing.